on. Hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? It looks like we're having an issue here. Oh, my gosh. There. At least you can see the table. <laughs> Look, it's a tiny hat. It's an eraser. Give me just a second. My front camera turned off. Look, I will spin this tiny hat for you. There we go. <laughs> Look, it's a tiny hat, and now our front cam is there. Hopefully here in just a second. So welcome to Board Game Battle with Glory Hound and... Dr. Glory Hog, Tiny Hat. Today we're going to be playing Roll and Write the Game. This is by, what is it, by Perplex, right? Perplex, yes. Sorry, I was listening. I was like reading. I got to I got to re read all the comments. Like everybody dropped really super long comments all of a sudden. So <laughs> let's take a look. So fatal paper cuts going through all the side stuff they just ordered, Ooh, which was like all the things. That like you were just talking about that the other day. Fatal paper cut. I can't believe you received everything. I'm gonna wear my. Let me know it. how you like all of it. Okay. <laughs> I can't even wear this tiny hat. You can't even see it. It's like gone in all my hair. I was super interested in the Kingdom, or not in Kingdom Builder. I was super interested in the Winter Kingdom uh, box, but we were still on the fence with that. And we're trying to conserve right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a lot of toilet paper, actually. <laughs> so, you know, we might have to take the black market. Fatal Paper Cuts wondering why we have other people in our studio because we have the other dice tower thing up. <laughs> oh, that would, be, that would be freaky, right? Like, just. That's Hello, awesome. Everybody. That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. So we will be playing Roll and Write the Game. This is a Roll, roll and, write and Write. About making a Roll and Write. I know. I'm super excited. So we're all board game designers today. And we're going to be playing with you guys. So if you guys have a copy of your own at home, go ahead and bring that out now. We're going to draw cards for you. And yeah, and then I think that's about it. And then we can all play along. I was like, can I hear Oh, I know. Shoulder? I was. I was looking at you because you were like tapping me, so I thought you were gonna like say something, which apparently you were not. So <laughs> moving on. <laughs> That's awesome. They're like, oh man, they got they got Mike on there. That's great. Yeah, he's in, he's in the studio. You Mike know, you won't just even can't return my calls. He's like off. He's over there, like right over there. Okay. <laughs> this is a game called Skittles. Winter Builder. Yes, exactly. Okay, just watching tonight. I know that you, Ellen, had the game, and you were not as excited about it because you were like, it took too long or something for you. I remember talking to you about it up at the uh, cafe, right? I don't remember. You don't remember. Oh, my goodness. I don't remember that. I right. was super injured that day. So we start off by getting three of these cards here, which are hallmarks, and you choose one of those to keep. Mm -hmm. I get to choose one of these to keep. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. my gosh. I should not cheat and only grab three cards. And then we also do this with the equipment cards here. All these decks here have been mixed up and put on the board. Any ones that we're not using go face up over here. Hopefully, it's going to put them all in view for you guys. Anybody playing along, this is going to be your special card that you're going to be using here. That's going to give you extra points, okay? Yeah, Alan says it never ended on two player, and we're not sure if we played it correctly. Well, now you should, you'll get to know. So, so on this one here, if you have for each connected set of green and yellow, you're going to get an extra point on that. And I'm going to leave this face up for anybody playing the game with us. And then I'm going to pick my cards. Oops. See, I keep drawing extra cards. Keep drawing them. Yeah. Keep drawing extra cards, and then Doctor Glory Hogs. Well, actually, you're terrible at, at showing the camera stuff. We're going to draw three of these. Oh. I'm a and very then, private guy. For those people playing at home, you go ahead and pick one of these that you would like to start with, and I would just go ahead and write that down now. Why don't you just put them face up so that way they can look at them for a little while or something? I Definitely. Know. I can put them face up for a little bit. Because like they might want to like see their other card and compare and contrast. And then three of these. There we go. And these ones here have special actions here at the bottom. So if anybody needs any sort of clarification, let us know. Did you guys see Frank from the City of Games has been doing some sort of remote play of the Isle of Cats for everyone? You print what? out a sheet and play along with his YouTube videos. No. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm going to have yell. to take a look at that. I know. I was like super excited. No. About it, I want to play Isle of Cats remotely. 
Like, how does that work? You kind of have to get it planned a little bit, you know? All right, let me choose my cards here. Dr. Glory Hog, entertain while I'm choosing. Quickly. <laughs> I'm going to need you to entertain a little better than that. <laughs> That's all I got. That is all I got. I'm trying to remember how to play. Are you going to explain to me how to play this I'm game? I'm not going to explain to you how to play because I want to win. So That's pretty fair. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> place a bonus bit of any color after completing a line. ba dum bum ba dum bum Pow. ba dum bum ba dum bum All right. I'm going to choose those two. And I will explain the rules here really quick. Is that our child? The child? The, the glory bear being elusive. All right, I hope okay. everybody picked their stuff because they're going away. They're going away. I hope you memorized it, wrote it down. Somebody could have paused the video and go back, okay? All right, what we're going to be doing is the person whose turn it is is going to roll the dice, which I'm going to do right now. And then I'm going to group these dice into colors. Oh my gosh, are all those, okay. I was going to say, are all those purple? That light didn't exist. So no, there's way. two purple, two blue, one green, and one red. Okay. I would choose one of these groups. Right. And so then I get to pick next, right? I'm going to go ahead and choose these two dice, or these two blue dice. Now, these two blue dice are now off limits for all other players. All other players cannot choose this group. However, everybody else at the table is going to be able to choose either of these, either one red, one green, or two purple that they can color in on their board right now, okay? So I'm gonna put these markers over here so hopefully you can reach them here. So embarrassed, I haven't gotten to Isle of Cats yet. Oh, you should go ahead and play that, Alan. It's so good, you should try it out. I'm gonna say the kid's watching based off of the glory bear. The glory watching. bear is watching. <laughs> so ominous, glory bear is watching. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to color in these dots on our paper. Yeah, I chose blue. Okay. You get special things for different things that you can do on here. Like, for example, you can color in a bonus bit if you get a horizontal, a vertical, or a full diagonal colored in. And then after you've colored in your dots, at the end of everybody's turn, you can choose to erase one of those dots, any color that you have on your board, and then use a special ability associated with those dots. For example, if I put my two dots down here, so say, Your bits, if you will, well, my bits, if I put my two bits down here, I'm gonna put my bit here, bum, 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 and I'm gonna bum, put bum. a bit here, okay? Two bits. And then at the end of my turn, I'm actually going to erase this one here to so I can use three. this ability to draw three of these blue cards here, and then I'm gonna get to keep one. Here, I'll pass the purple marker. <laughs> uh. I get to choose one of these, and I will choose. Why not, why not? I like that this one is like, you're, you're, you want to use the bits to fill up the board, but then you also want to erase them in order to do the special abilities. I think that's cool. I thought that that was what originally attracted me to this game. I was like, what the? You're trying to I fill up your board while hat. also trying to erase this? This is awesome, OK? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go ahead and erase my purple. So it says draw one purple, place and keep. So what does that mean? Draw so purple. you draw one purple. You can either choose to use the bits that are on that card, or you can keep it for the points associated with that card. I'm going to use it for the bits. OK, and I'm going to show everybody this card here so they can see. Come on, card, focus. You can do it. There we go. You can do it. So he could have chose to do a green or an orange dot or put this face down in front of him for the one point. But you chose the bits, so that card is expended, okay? And then that's, that's an entire turn. That's it. We're going to go back and forth and back and forth with this until either one of us has filled up our boards. It's up to three. So if you have three spaces left or three dots left, then the game ends. You do your final turn. Or if one of these is fully expended where there's only three cards left in the discard and the regular deck here. Okay. okay. And that's all we're going to do. That's okay. it. Super simple. Got it. But super complex. <laughs> the other thing I do want to let you guys know is that there is a first, second, and third place here uh, that you can win. Or third, first, second, and third rewards here. This one here is sets of six colors. So if you get six colors in a row and... Well, not in a row. If you just get a set of six colors, if you have the most, you're going to get six points. If you have the second most, you're going to get four points here. Completed 
Hallmark cards. So whoever has the most completed Hallmark cards in largest cluster of connected, largest cluster of connected red bits. Okay. So biggest cl cluster of red bits, most yeah. completed green cards, or the full rainbow. You got to go. Full rainbow. full rainbow. And the first person who gets it gets six <laughs> points. Second is the first loser. That is true. But sometimes, what is that one if game? If you're not first, you're last. What's that one game where you always want to be second? Who's first? Who's first? Oh my gosh, Fatal Paper Cut. Play Who's First. It's amazing. <laughs> the whole time you're just trying to get second place in order to win. It's amazing. <laughs> I've still never played that game. Ah, oh, yes. We interpreted the rules that you were not required to draft slash use dice. Yes. You don't have to use the bits on the dice. And I think if you're not using all the bits on the dice, that's really a disservice. And I think that's yeah. maybe where you went wrong on that one, Alan. Because then you don't just don't fill up your board fast enough, and then all of a sudden, like... Yeah, that would take forever. Yeah, but I, I want to fill up the board and then erase stuff to get, like, bonus actions. When you're placing these bits, you can place them wherever you want. You can't, I could place a blue one over here and then a blue one way over here. It doesn't matter where I, don't be I mad. put them originally. That's crazy. Go ahead, Dr. Glorhog. My roll? Your roll. Why do, oh, and you got your blue and your green, or your green and your orange. That's right. Boom. We got orange, orange, red, red, purple, purple. So I made it nice and easy-ish. Got to line these up here just right. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are you picking? That's really nice. Like, I'm super happy that you gave us all. You, now I get to pick between orange, two orange or true pur two purple. Yep. I'm down with that. Orange lets you move any other bit. I feel like purple's good, though. Let me look at my cards. Let me look at my cards. Well, calm down. <laughs> Our glory bear is, like, dropping some knowledge right now. <laughs> Yeah, you should probably house rule that, I think, because if you're not filling up your board fast enough, it just it does take quite a bit. Copy and connect a bit. Bink. I think I'm gonna take this purple, these two purple. <laughs> How convenient. I feel like the two purple is a good move. It's a good move. Now let me see your yellow card to confirm no, that you're allowed to do that. No. That's how this game works. Madame, let me see your yellow card. And I'm going to put my other purple there. And then I'm going to erase my purple and I'm going to draw one of those cards. Don't do it. I'm going to do it. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely drawing these right here. I just yeah. got a three bit card. <gasps> three bits. Oh, yeah. Why first you learn your game? Yeah, learn your game. <laughs> it actually sounds like me saying stuff right now. I'm going to get flagged up from mm. YouTube for being rude. It'll be my kid talking Aww. about it. Okay, so I'm going to use these bits here. I feel like this game has a little bit of that kindergarten-y sort of, let's color in the lines and do things thing? sort of stuff, you know? Ooh, I'm keeping this one for points. That one's real good. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then I need to put one yellow one down. Who has the most passion? <laughs> I'm going to put a yellow one over here. Do it. Put a yellow one over All there. All right. That's the news. Shark, when is Shark Week? Is that coming up? Is that? Sorry, we were talking about sharks earlier, and I'm like, when's, when's Shark Week? <laughs> if you're playing along at home and you're wondering if you can go ahead and grab a card, what I want you to do is just take whatever is in the discards here. Take whatever's on top for your card. Yeah. So at least you can go ahead and grab cards take on there. Some some faulty cards. Yeah, they're that is a yellow card. faulty cards, but they're good. They're good cards, okay? <laughs> Does this bring back nightmares of Scantrons? Did you erase a lot to get bonus bits on your Scantron? You're like, ah, oh, I'll just erase this A here, and I'll give myself a C and a D. I'll tell you what, it was never E. It was never E for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, it is kind of Scantron-ish. It really is. <laughs> All right, what's next? All right, I got to go ahead and... I watch. rolled. You roll. I know. I'm getting just super distracted You should today. have Alan roll and just tell us what he rolled. Alan, if you could just go ahead and roll for us. Ooh. I'm taking all of those reds. All the reds. Taking all these reds. Now, here's the other thing. If you have a group that's more than a group of three, the maximum is a group of three. So if I had rolled one more red, I would have to break it off into a separate group for this pile over here. Oh, my gosh. What is going on with my front cam today, guys? Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. Bye. 
<laughs> this has been weird lately. I don't know what's going on with it. It's it not... is. I'm going to have to get a new uh, plug-in battery for it, I think, is what it is. You should order one off of Amazon. No, well, guys, I am not using Amazon. Not using Amazon. I'm so angry at Amazon right now. You guys want to hear about my horrible Amazon story? No. We returned no. this expensive camera lens, and they're saying they didn't get it. Yeah. And it's expensive. I'm super sad, guys. All right, so I took the yellow, and I'm going to... Oh, wait, I want to do... So I took the yellow, and I'm going to erase one and change the bits color. I want it to be actually right here, though. I did that wrong. So pretend that was yellow, and I'm erasing it to change this bits color. All right, I'm filling in my reds here, okay? I keep forgetting that with yellow, it's like you change that particular bit. So like, I actually want to put it... Like... Because I filled in my reds here, and now I have this line okay. here that's a full line of that's filled you get a I bonus can actually bit. do a bonus bit here okay are you gonna do a bonus bit i am gonna do a bonus bit you it's should do be a green. bonus bit you should bonus bit it up listen hey speaking of games don't talk that, about my bonus speaking bit. Of games that bite you can play get bit <laughs> which is another game where you're where you're running from a shark it's a little that's right that you play that for shark week is what you it's do a, it's a very it's a very um non-complex game because i think you're were you rolling dice to move forward you're just all trying to swim away from the shark and the shark eats one of them it's like a little tin game kind of like a little tin game. and now i'm going to go ahead and erase one of child. these child i'm going to erase one of these red ones for my action and i'm going to copy and connect a bit which oh gorbass i said i did learn to play board games when i was in kindergarten allows me to go you ahead you don't remember the bonus these. bit so yeah whenever you make a line if it's diagonal kind of like a bingo if you complete a row in any kind of direction you get a bonus bit and you can do it up to three times oh did you already get one already you got the little dipper yep it's a little dipper i can place up to two green bits connected to another one instead of erasing my bit and using an action so that's already going to start putting more bits on the board for me so let's see i ordered the fenris expansion off amazon knowing it was a Extended shipping delivery by Friday. Went back to a page. An hour later, it says, order now and receive by Sunday. What? <laughs> yeah, it's being weird. <laughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. What is that little window you got going on down there? CEOS. That's just the camera. <laughs> oh, okay. It's, like, freaking me out because it's got, like, a static picture. You love the cuteness of this game. Your mom loves the cuteness of this wow. game. I don't, I don't wow. know what that was about. Dr. All right, is it my turn to roll? Turn, yeah. That's what happens if you don't let me roll. I think it was, it's such a great idea, having the erasing portion of it. It just, it adds, it adds a really, like, unique portion. Well, it adds a really unique bit to it. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm going to take <laughs> these blues. Hmm. I'm going to take these two blues. Okay. I don't want that stinking purple. Call that purple. Yes, I'm going to take purple. these two purples. Now, even though I take the purples, you guys can still use these purples. No, they can't. Oh, they can. Oh, they can. Cannot. <laughs> you guys use those purples, you're dead to me. We're going to use these like this here. Got the two purples on there. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. All right, I got to see what I'm doing. I got to see what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> You're being called out. Dr. Glory Hog, what was that? What? Oh, talking smack? I don't know. Something I do. And then I'm actually, you know what? I'm, I don't want that purple there. I want this purple here. I'd say I'm sorry, but I think we all know I'm not. What I actually want to do here. So now that I have all my purples out, I want to use There's my so place up to game. two green bits. You got this little hat that's an eraser. You got this little heavy metal symbol that's an eraser. You got the erasers on the pins. They're all about you erasing some Connected stuff. to another one. I guess is diagonals connected, right? I think it is. Because it's one right over. That's the great thing. Ta -da! There's no rules to this game. You just do what you want. <laughs> You're the designer. <laughs> you are the designer. All right. That yeah. was my action. You ready, ready? I'm ready. Do it, do it. I got this. You don't. You're going to spill those dice oh, everywhere. Look at that. Look at those I'm picking dice. these green bits. <laughs> Choose one of Simple. anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a And with these green bits, I want to make this shape right here, which allows me to make this shape right here. All right, so for red, when you erase a red, it says copy and connect a bit. So what does that actually mean? So if I put like a red here, so I put like a red right here, 
Okay. Then what? And I erased it. Then what happens? Then I make like a, a blue here because it's touching a blue. Copy and connect a bit. So you can erase it. Uh huh. And then you can copy a bit from anywhere else. It just has to be connected. Okay. I guess I'll take. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> the purple. I'll take this purple. Oh my gosh! You erase them with your finger. You can't do that. Yeah, she's a monster. I'm going to take this purple and I'm going to immediately erase it because I want to actually get this little card here and see what's going on. Which card, Alan? Which card? These are the two that I've done. And then because I've completed these ones here, they go underneath my little board and then I have these ones here where I can go ahead and use these instead of erasing a bit for an action. Okay, so the one I just scored was place up to two bits if I used a green dice this turn, which is really good too. Basically, I'm just, I'm going in all green, all green bits, all green bits. Good to know. Shut down the green. <laughs> all right. I need all the green bits. What did Dr. Glory Hog said something too? Board games run in my blood. Oh my God. <laughs> We had your blood checked. There was no board games in there. There's just, you look inside the like microscope and there's little meeple blood cells. Is that it? Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn to roll? I'm ready. I didn't complete that last one. Yes, I did. Right here. See? It's dot, 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 dot. Yeah, you're good. It's there. It might be hard to see. So though. the two dots, the two dots there, and then two dots here. And then my previous one had the two blue, and then it came down with the four here. Yeah, it's the colors. Okay. The colors, since they're light, uh, they're fine here, but like with the bright white oh. light on them, <laughs> the color's a little bit off. All right. Off. Who's rolling now? It's my turn to roll. I just went ahead and did Nobody green. Cares. I took the two green. I completed the card. Getting the points. Nobody cares about your shenanigans. Bum, bum, shenanigans. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to take these two blues, I guess. I can take one of anything else. One of it. Oh, I actually connected this. I like, totally forgot that. I and you forgot to bit. get your bits? I'm going to take this bonus bit. So hold on. Before I actually take my full turn. Okay. That actually lets me connect one and do one of them, which is this one here, which is blue, blue. No, it doesn't. Crap. <laughs> Are you okay, Dr. Glory Hog? Yeah. You got this. You got this. I don't like that. All right. I'm going to take the green one, I think. This is making me angry. And I'm going to put this green one right here. And then I'm going to need to erase something here. I want to erase. I'm going to erase this one here. I'm going to erase this red one. And I'm going to copy and connect a bit. So I erase have. Do the same thing. Copy and connect a bit. That right there. So I can complete that one. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is. Top-notch strategy is what I got. All right, I already erased one, so I'm good on that. All right. So if I erase right here with a red, and it says copy and connect, can I just replace that one with a red? Or with a blue? If this was red, I erased it. Yeah, it because copy you would connect. be copying and then connecting this. Okay. You could do it anywhere on the board. It just yeah. matters with... Basically, you're putting one colored dot it has to be the same color, but right next to it. Gotcha. That's what it's saying. Okay, I got <laughs> this one right here. There's, this is not an abstract Western theme, although that's what Dr. Glory Hog would make as his board game. He'd make a Western board game for sure, right? I don't know. You don't know? I feel like space is so easy. I mean, why not the just space, do a space game? game? What do you think is more popular, space or Western? We all know space Western are the most popular, but what do you think is more popular, space or Western? Yes. That's not how that works, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> I disagree. What are you taking? All right. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm going to take. Oh, I'm such a noob. I could have done this a completely different I'm way. I'm going to take these two red ones. 
I'm kind of mad at myself. I need these two reds. I'm doing like a really bad job. Why are you doing such a bad job, Dr. Glorhog? Um, because of my spatial awareness issues here. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm losing sight of it. I did really good that like the last time we played this one, but I'm really messing it up this time. I'm gonna race one of these, I guess. I'm looking to fill some blanks here, so we're gonna put this one here. So I got the two reds, and then I'm gonna erase one of these. Blue ones, I think, to get. I need some cards. I need more cards, guys. I'm going to take three of these and I'm going to pick one. Hopefully, it... it'll be one that, like, I need. <laughs> I could have, like, completed another thing if I would have done it. The Mandarinian, right. That's right. <laughs> wow. Do you see that? Do you see Glory Bear on there? I will take over this stream one day. Oh, there's some Jeez. nice nice comments happening in the stream today. Jeez. Wow. I don't like this at all. I could have totally completed this one if I would have been, like, not dumb. This is tough. These are tougher now that I have so many dots on the board. Oh, shut it. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still far ahead. It's, it's so hard to do now because me. there's just so much stuff everywhere. Mm. Poor me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of these, like, I guess I could do that. Okay, I'll try that one. Can only keep one. Can only keep one. I'm still really mad that I messed this one up. <laughs> Is it my turn to roll? Very cheeky, right? Um, yes, it is your turn to roll. Let's do this. I do not like this at all. Which part? Uh, I could have, like, stupidly won this. Stup not won, but I could have, like, done a thing. You can keep the dots on camera so people can see. Move any other bit of orange. What is my other thing here? We got one orange, one green, two orange, two red. So one purple is what you mean to say. Oh, yeah, one purple, one green. <laughs> Tough decisions, Dr. Glory Hog. Take these two reds, I guess. I don't know how I feel about that choice. Let's see here. I'm going to erase this blue. Need more of those. Okay. I don't like any of these. I'm gonna take these two orange, I think. Alert, alert. I do not like any of these. Well deal with it, sucker. Wow, that was, that was rude. <laughs> I'm gonna do two oranges like so, like so. I wanna get a bonus bit. <laughs> bonus. Bonus. I'm so hungry. I'm just gonna eat these Skittles. So, Dr. Glory Hog, what sort of, uh... Can we start over? No. Okay. No, you should have reread the rules ahead of time, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> yeah, I do have a lot of blue cards. There's my bonus bit, and I want to do a thing. I'm going to go ahead... Is that a prototype you guys had of Reichbusters? No, that was a full production. It was super sweet. It was the Kickstarter version. We were actually thinking about... Playing Doing another, yeah, doing another stream with Reich... Rush Busters, because we had so much fun playing that we game, We played guys. it like another three times after that stream. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. So good. It was. It was so good. At this point, it's like, what can I fulfill here? You want me to help? I, no, I don't want you to help, Dr. Mm -hmm. Glory Hog. Don't look. <laughs> my eyes were shut that whole time. All right. All right, so who did that? I oh, did that. Oh, okay, so let's see here. Jenny and I will allow a mulligan with new games. Yes, another Reich Busters plus one. I've only played it once, and it was months ago. You know, two, like, what was it? Somebody when did had, I play this last Somebody time? had left some comments, too, about how Dr. Glory Hog was not super sneaky playing Reich Busters. And they're like, I think you're supposed to be a bit more sneaky. <laughs> was there a reason for that comment right now? Or just... <laughs> All right, so last time I played this was on December 25th, and I played it once. So it's been a bit, Alan. All right, it's your turn. No, I thought no I wait, it's my turn? Yeah. Okay. It's easy to get distracted when Alan's over here heckling. 
heckling. <laughs> All right, we got some Keep the oranges. dice on the camera so people can see them. We got some them. greens. We got a blue and a purple. Oh, man. What do I want? Mm, what are the oranges let me do? They let me move other bits. That may be helpful. All right, I think I'm going to take these oranges here. You silly fool. Because they're going to help me move bits, I think. I'll take these greens because they're worth end game points for me. And I'm going to do what? these two oranges like that. Green, green. So then I get a bonus bit. Boom, bonus bit. Which I'm going to make purple. I'm going to make you cry. Like that, like so. And then. I don't like that. I, want, I need to move a bit. You need to move your butt. Get this game going, girl. I'm going to erase this orange one. I'm going to move the green one. We're moving the green one. Wow. All the cats are going to take over the internet. That's just like, a true story. What is going on with that child? <laughs> I won this? Did you, like, look this up? What's up? I think, like, Alan straight up, like, looked up the last time I played this. <laughs> No, he probably remembers us talking about it. Yeah, I did win it. Crap. He probably remembers us talking about it. I won about like 16 it. points, too. Dang it. I have very short-term memory, though. I'm a person that can watch, like, All a right. TV season, and then by the time the next season comes back, like, I almost need that recap. I'm like, what happened in that last season? It's your turn, Dr. Glory Hog. What happened in that last season? You got this. The roll die? <laughs> I'm like, you're not looking up my BGG stats, are you? That's the problem with recording stuff. I can't lie. Yeah, no, I remember us specifically talking about this game with you, Alan, because you these, were like, what the heck? You were take these two blues. Super upset at the time with the link. <laughs> but as you can see, my board is getting pretty full. That completes this one for me, which says I win the game. I don't think that's how that it works. It says draw two purple and keep one and then place the bits immediately or keep the card. Oh, so when I draw purples, I get to draw two now. Instead of just one. I'm going to fill in that purple one there. Which gives me a bonus I'm bit. I'm going to get one of these ones here. Bonus bit. Beep beep. Bonus bit. Bonus bit. Which is place up to two purple bits connected to another one, which is nice. That's very nice. Very nice. Okay. My turn? For what? To roll? You know, we got time Do for this. That. Do this. <laughs> Hold on. I'm doing my thing. I got a bonus bit here, and I took a purple. I'm deciding if I want to erase, and I think I do want to erase. I think I want to. Oh, man, I'm like erasing like blues, like they're going out of style. You don't want any of those blue ones. Why wait? Do I need the blue ones? But the big thing is, is that like all the cards in this game are just good. Like all the cards are good. It's hard to make a decision when you have too many good things to choose from. No, it's not. Oh, my God. I have so many blue cards. All right. Yeah, it's your turn to do whatever it is you do on your turn. I don't even care. <laughs> like, roll the dice? I don't even care. Whatever. <laughs> Just do whatever. Oh, that is a lot of purple. Take them, then. I don't care. That is a lot of purple. I'm going to have to take all those purples because I feel like I should. Right? Whatever. Whatever. Do what you want. I don't even care. I had, I had did that bonus bit. My bonus bits are dumb. So, purple, purple, purple. Where do I want to put these purples? And what do I want to keep? So, I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to fill in here. One, two, and I'm going to... Fill in a third one technically, but then I'm just gonna like erase it so so How I can get one of these convenient. cards because I want one of these a purple, a red, and an orange to fill in. Erase another stupid blue. Why are you so angry, Doctor Glory Hog? Because <laughs> I like lost track of what I was doing and it is not helping. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and. Fill in the red. I'm just going to trigger endgame by just taking all these blue cards, right? It says something happens if I take all these equipment cards. 
that and the and the discard. How do you keep the discard? Like, because eventually the discards get marked or mixed back in. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Can I have like a million equipment cards? Is that like allowed? Yeah. But it matters between completed and hey, not Kat. completed, though. Hey, Kat, you were supposed to stay in your room. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah. The discards get shuffled back in, but if there's ever a time where within the discards and the regular cards, there's only three left, then that would end the game on that. Okay? Glory Bear is always winning. Hashtag winning, right? <laughs> basically already won. Uh, if you, you won because you have the perfect parents. You would have won if you would have, you know, gotten the cat, <laughs> stayed, the, kept the cat in the room like you're supposed to. Oh my gosh. That would have been a win. Yeah, that's just going to be, no, no. Definitely kitty. a problem. No, kitty. No. All right, so, so you took these purples. I took I an orange. It was horrible. Then I raced the blue. How is it horrible? Because you gave me like one thing. <laughs> it was super lame. I'm just going to do really bad in this game. I can just tell. How can you tell? You said you had like a million blue cards or something. None of them are good. Do I even want this red? What am I like? Look how many blue cards I have. I can't make all these patterns. <laughs> I said she released the kitty on purpose. Possibly, like quite possibly. <laughs> it definitely could have happened. I need to know. Inquiring minds want to know. I need all these things, Dr. Glory Hog. I need all of them. <laughs> You had one job. <laughs> I'm gonna take these two reds. That's exactly it, Battle Cry. You had one job. <laughs> You're gonna take the reds? Cool. I will take these blues. Oh my gosh. Cat attack. attack. I know. Cat attack. She went right for my face, too. It was dangerous. It's like, oh, you wanna get bit in the face? Get bit. Great game, by the way. Get bit. Oh, she's gonna try to jump up on the other side. No, kitty. <laughs> She, this uh, should be a game in itself. This is the... Uh, she has no boundaries because somebody lets her be up on the table all the time. This <clears> is um, the advanced game rules right here, guys. Okay? Advanced game rules. You also play with a cat trying to destroy your game the entire time. Okay? And then I can do... Let's see. Replace up to two bits if I use the green one or place up to two green bits connected to another one. So... I have like just too many blue cards now. I like lost the plot. What am I even trying to do anymore? I'm gonna place my two green bits. Hey, kitty, just like oh, go with the child. Pa pow, pa pow. Not listening. She is not All right. listening. That was my turn. <sighs> Actually, I just rolled. I have four Here dots left. Cat. I have four oh dots my gosh. left. Oh, I'm super not doing well then. If you want to grab the cat, I can pass the cat to the child. Who's just now realized that the cat's been out this whole time. All right, kitty. Say it's hi to the camera for a second. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, oh, look at her. Look at this ball of, of just evil right here. <laughs> Such a cute ball of evil. No scratching. No scratching. <laughs> if she had some boundaries and didn't jump on the table like nine times in a row after telling her to get off, that would be one thing. Well, you know. What cats have boundaries? Honestly, guys. You I've tell met me. some. Which, I've met some. No, oh. there are no cats that have oh, boundaries. Have. No. All right, you roll. It's your roll. Because actually, I took those those double reds. And you, you're almost filled. This is not good for me. That's a lot of blues. I think I got like too focused on like the wrong card or something. Since Dr. Glory Hog does not have anything good all the things. I feel like maybe I should just take stuff to end it, maybe? You'll win by like a lot. I've only got three things that have scored so far. So I think I'm going to take these. Can you win it? No, I don't know. You can't fill in all four right now. Well, no, because, no, you, if, if you have Three or less dots left. Oh well, yeah, you're fill. gonna you're gonna win it anyways then. Yeah, I'm just thinking about points wise though. Oh yeah, definitely maximize your <laughs> points when I'm super far on the. 
on the losing end here. I'm just thinking about points on here, Dr. Glory. I think Hogg. next time I'm going to eat before we leave the stream. I'm, super distracted. I'm not fully, I mean, there's things I'm I also wanted not to full. do. I'm also not full. <laughs> I'm very hungry. I had chips for lunch. Let's do this. All right. I mean, this is really bad. All right. I'm going to take these two blue. Ugh. I'm going to take the blue, guys. I failed to build an engine, and that's a problem. And I'm put a blue here. I, you're going to win top in those, though. You mm -hmm. know? You're going to win top in these two, though, I think. So I don't have a bunch of greens Maybe. done. And I have another blue to put down here. Those are completed green cards. How many completed green? You've got a bunch of completed green cards, don't you? No, the green cards are those ones. Oh, the I ones have, without stuff. Yeah, I have one. So. I have one as well. So I guess so, we would split that one. Okay. Yeah. So you're just full of lies. All right. So I'm going to do that. And I'm not going to erase anything. So that's going to be end game. Okay. So which ones did you take? <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Which ones did you take? The blues? I did. I took the blues. The question is, can I complete this one? Cat equals Alan. Dr. Glory Hog equals Jenny. <laughs> Let's see. Your tinfoil on the table. These videos are hilarious. <laughs> For real. Like, you know what we should do is we should just actually put, like, tape up on the corners of the table. And then when the cat goes to jump up here that one time, she'll have, like, sticky feet and be like, oh, my God, and run out of here. It would be awesome. <laughs> I can't like do anything. To I be guess. fair, it's almost Friday. Wow. <laughs> I'm put a red there. I'll put a red here. I don't know. And then that will give me. That's a different row that I haven't completed before. So I would actually get a thing. You'd get a bonus bit? Yeah, I believe so. so I can put a purple. I did not get this. Here. Hold on. I'm trying to see if I can score some points here. Okay. You got this, Dr. Glory Hog. <laughs> and we can all uh, check out Dr. Glory Hog's concentration face right now. He's very no. con he's concentrating very, very hard right now. You know? <laughs> Glory Bear actually wanted to play the game with us, but then we were like, well... You didn't have enough markers. We don't have all the markers for it, so I'm sorry. So we'll have to play again with Glory Bear. I have another stupid purple. If I erase that red, <laughs> if you waste the red, it says copy and connect a bit. So I can't copy the color that I want. I can't finish this last stupid one. Oh, oh. so sad. I'm mad because, like, that I could have done this and this, like these two. I could have done them on the same turn and I completely messed it up. Purple, purple, blue, blue, red. Those are a bunch of purples. I'm just going to say poop to that. You're just going to say poop? Okay, so Poops. all cards that poop. you did not complete, go ahead and discard those. All four of these? Get um, out of here. You know what? You you went ahead and really went after those cards. A hashtag Greg placement. <laughs> Greg replacement. <laughs> this was real bad. We have to wait at least, what is it? We, we have to wait some years before the Glory Bear is able to be legitly on the YouTubes and have our Player 3 ready, so... She would just be like a more energetic version of me. So good luck. <laughs> All right. So what are we doing here? Like we just quit? I quit the game? No. No. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Up stuff. Here, since I can't score that stupid one, I'm going to erase the stupid purple and take two of these stupid cards. And I'm just going to keep this one for two points. Okay. Now we're going to total up points. <laughs> and I want to total up with old purple. So that's I'm, the color I'm totaling with. <laughs> I'm just more frustrated that I like messed up. So first we go ahead and look at our yellow cards here. And we do the points for that. Okay, so mine was green and orange together. So that's one, two, three. I had three of those. Mine was the globe, which is connected sets of blue and green. So I have one, like one, two, three, four. Oh, good. I hope you scored a lot five. of them. Five. I think I had grapes last time, which was like purple and green together. Five. I like rocked those grapes. I recall grapes, or I smelled toast. I might be having a stroke. <laughs> then next, we total our green cards here. So Oh, boy. I got five points. I have five points. Good. We'll do our just, blue cards. You're just winning by, like, a lot. By two points already. Nine on that. Three on that. Killing it. Any purple cards we had? 
<laughs> I get five points there at least. All right, I don't have any in the purple, so I got zero points for that. And then we're going to go down this. So what is this guy? It's for having the most filled? Oh, so if you filled up all of them. You'd get six points. You would get six points. You should have done Which that. Which I should have done that because I had this one where I could have put oh, two greens down. you should have. Too bad you didn't. I should have. Yeah, I did not though. Good call, Dr. Glory Hog. Now for first place here, sets of all six colors. So... I don't think either one of us had that. Well, red, orange, yellow. Oh, is it just anywhere? Green. And then blue, purple. Yeah, just anywhere. Oh, I, so thought it had to be, I thought it had to be like in a row. I got one. No, it's just a set. I have one also. So it would cancel out technically. If we were playing with more players and two people got first place, I think it's like a four point. Or if two people got, and then there isn't a second place, you know? Okay. That's how the point scoring goes with it. Or if somebody got first place and then two people scored for second, they both get two so points. So we're both just not going to get anything for that? Yeah, I'm going to say to make math easy, we're just going to nil that, okay? For a okay. second here, we both got one green. Yep. Green done. So we're going to nil that one. And then for the third, largest cluster is going to be you. So you'd get six and I'd get four. Of red. Largest cluster of red. Wow, you got two reds and you get points. That seems. Oh, yeah. The now, what does this say? have made landfall and are expected to be fulfilled in warehouses mid month. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm what? so excited. Iron clays? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Glory Bear says, stop playing video games and start playing more board games. Hashtag my life. <laughs> Pretty true. You do play a lot of video games, kid. We're like, hey, you want to play a game? She's like, hold oh on, Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Glory Bear is killing me today here. And we also have Battle Cry with the fake mustache with disguise coming in. <laughs> All right, so points wise. Was that a zero you got there? That is a zero. You got 19 zero. points, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Is that all you got was 23 points? Yes. You beat me by one point after all that. Oh, yeah. Are you 23 serious? 23 points. I'm over here stressing. <laughs> I lost six pounds of stress weight, <laughs> and you beat me by one freaking point. So if I could have gotten one more purple dot down. I could have completed that thing. I would have gotten the top points there. Plus, I would have got whatever points was on that, and I would have just blown you out of the water. Was that your rage quit? Your very well, gentle rage quit? Do you want me to real rage quit? <laughs> no. <laughs> Our cameras are expensive, if I recall. Wow. A very gentle rage quit. <laughs> That's Wow, that was way closer than I thought. I thought you, like, blew me out of the water. No, it's good that it was close, though, because... Because I had 16 like, points up top, and you had 19 points up top. So. Look at the difference of these boards here. I mean, one is almost all filled in, and the other one... Is pretty and is luxurious. Pretty, is pretty and, and fancy orderly. Fancy AF. And the other one looks like a party, like... Hashtag fancy AF. A party threw up on it. <laughs> hey, that's Skittle, that's Skittle Land right there. Ten minutes left of Lions and Lydia. I can't remember if we backed that one. I'm going to have to go back Lions and look. Lions and Lydia? Yeah, I'm that one's sure. good. That one's good. good. All right. Boom. How do you feel about that game, Dr. Glory Hog? And, Alan, if you notice, with us talking and messing around the entire time, 48 minutes. Yeah, Alan, what the heck? Yeah, Alan, what the heck? <laughs> I like this game um, for a roll and write. I like the twist of, like, a racing thing. But I don't typically like roll and write a whole bunch. I think I've said that a million times. Yeah. This one I, I keep because of the erasing and doing things. And you're really building an engine, so that makes me feel better about it's it. It's like an engine building game. I'm just frustrated with myself because I, like just lost the plot of this whole thing. Like, I was just messing up left and right. I was like, oh, I can do this. And I looked at it, and I'm like, oh, no, wait. I did. I needed that red not to touch that blue. It's... And I thought they were, like, they were close enough to each other because it was like, I had two cards when I first started off that were, like, like blue, blue, red, 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 orange. And I was like, sweet. I can do, like, one. And then one of them had, like, two reds to the side of the red. And I'm like, I can do them both. But, like, no, I messed it up. So I had to race one and do one. And then if I would have just been smart and I looked to the other side, I could have just drawn an orange with my two blues there that I wasted through somewhere else and I could have done that line. And I was yeah. like, what? Like, it has I think a, I was just too distracted. It does. It has a lot of engine building in it. and Yeah, and that's big. It, it is. Because you got a lot of bonus off of the fact that you could do extra greens. And I could have had one of those cards out yeah. too because I messed up and I wait, it took me two extra turns to get that done. Yeah, we liked the building of the cards and neither of us stopped. We weren't about winning. <laughs> Oh, well, if you're not about winning, yeah, any game can take forever. Like, my life? And you know what? I'm not about winning this bad boy. These uh, 
I like the little thimble thingy that they had here for like the eraser. You put it on your finger and then it has like a little erase end on it. Speaking of thimbles, anyone else back in Tumbletown? Like what the heck? That's freaking awesome. And then that's a Western dice game. Oh god. They had this little, this was a surprise. I don't remember this, but I went back and looked. This is like an eraser, too, because they know you're doing, like, so much erasing. They give you an extra little eraser mm -hmm. thing. Like, those are cute in the game. I thought that was really cool those how they did that. Those were so cute. I oh can't god. even. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't so even. amazing. QAF. <laughs> All right, guys. So, let's talk about Kickstarters here WTF, really quick. WTF. Why the face? Let's talk about Kickstarters really quick. Tomorrow, we're actually, we're not going to do a Kickstarter show. We're going to play Chocolate Tears. Mm -hmm. And that is because there's not a whole lot of Kickstarters that are really super great right now. I, I don't think want... a better way of phrasing that is that a lot of companies are hesitant yes. to put their campaigns up during this pandemic. And so we didn't find enough that we wanted to talk about. There's definitely a few that are worth talking about, but there yes. wasn't, we didn't feel like there was four that we, solid ones that we just really, really wanted to talk about. So instead of doing something with just a few Kickstarters that we're excited about, and then like two that were like, eh, about we decided to play a game instead. Yeah, absolutely. But if you did tune in to last week in the Kickstarters, the only really new thing that I think I would want to talk about is For Science by Gray Fox Games, which is like this little 15-minute block, cooperative block builder game. You said that was where you build up, kind of like a junk art or something, Yeah, right? kind of like junk art, but... It's cool because you're working cooperatively with everybody. And there's science. And then you're trying to, like, make the right strains on how you're going to build your blocks. That and man, so... Fatal Paper Cut, the new Nemesis expansion was just announced. They were talking about it. It's a standalone expansion, so you can play it just by itself. That's exciting. You can't, oh, my God. You cannot back that. <laughs> from what I read, you can't back that Nemesis to get the original Nemesis, though, because those are all slated for retail. So. Right. But you, that Nemesis will be in retail soon, too, so that's also good. So there's all kinds of Nemesis we did not get our hands on the first that's one. That's true. We didn't. So, Kodama Force. That's right. That was the other one, too, that, that I was looking one, at. We felt like there wasn't enough information about it to really go, like, super, super in-depth. Plus, we just covered a Kodama, like, not even that long ago. And there's already regular Kodama. There's Kodama 3D. There's Kodama Duo. So this is, like, another Kodama, like a fourth one. It's in the Kodama universe, though, I think. I think, it, but it's a different standalone game hmm. stuff. So, but it's another one that we're going to look at. However... However, there just wasn't a whole lot of extra, you know, like nothing that I was like insanely excited about. I mean, like I'm excited about those games, but not in the same way that we usually have. Right. I feel like it, it was the decision was made to just go ahead and wait until next week and hopefully have a better crop all together overall. Oh, because absolutely. Absolutely. We're not getting paid to do the show. So we only want to talk about stuff that we're excited about. So if there wasn't enough stuff for us to be excited about, even if we're only missing one or two. Sometimes it makes it just not worth doing. We'd rather play a game instead. Right. But that does mean that doesn't mean we're not going to cover them. It just means we're not going to cover them this week. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. But I want to let you guys know about them because, like, you may want to get, you know, into those. <laughs> Alan's talking about Aquanauts, how it's, like, back, but it doesn't look better than it oh, did before. Oh, really? Now it's running out. It'll and it ends famous. in 48 hours. Really? Yeah, and the Starlight one's crazy, too. Like, so, like, now I'm on the fence where, like, I want Starlight, but then I kind of want Frosthaven now, so I'm kind of like, uh, Yeah, that's another thing we were looking at. two big campaign at. games. Like, mm -hmm. I try not to back two campaign, big campaign games in the same month, at least. Here's the thing, though. I'm that's thinking too much. with Starlight, that one's going to be a harder-to-find game. I think Frosthaven's we'll still be around. going to be everywhere. Yeah, I agree. You know? That's the thing that Greg always says, like, I can just pick this up in retail, which is true. Frosthaven should be around. And we but, haven't finished yeah. Gloomhaven, although I did enjoy what we have played at Gloomhaven. Oh, absolutely, so. absolutely. And raise your hand here? if you finish Gloomhaven. <laughs> raise your hand if you have two digital copies and a hard copy of Gloomhaven. Oh, oh Ellen was really, really excited about Lawyer Up when they finally got your your last look of it and everything. Good. Yeah, because I think when we were playing it, you hadn't actually taken a full look at it yet. It was so good. Yeah, oh we, my gosh. I, we enjoyed that one. We played. The we enjoyed heck out it of that enough game. that when we had to give the game back to Dan, uh, to Game Boy Geek, he was like, "Oh, you want to give it back?" We're like, "Yeah, only because we backed it." He's like, "You guys can keep it and play it for a little bit longer." So we kept it for an extra week. <laughs> we got another gameplay in and of it. Right. I'm trying to think of what else. So the Iron Clays are coming in soon, which is awesome because you've been waiting forever for that. That was like 
a birthday gift for Dr. Gordon. I'm going to play with those so much. And she's going to get mad. She'll be like, you can't play with those on trees. Now, they don't come with it. And that's I'm all I want to do. Really, really want the Nemesis expansion. Like, oh my gosh. I'm excited. Still really want Tainted Grail. I want to get back to Reich Buster because we played it three more times after our stream. And we got to where we have like two more missions left, I think. Yeah. And we got wrecked on the, on like the fourth mission. We were doing good. And it got down to the end. And we just got like unwinnable. And game unwinnable. We were going to go ahead and play Steam Watchers, oh, their, their new Mythic one, but the big thing with that was when it came in, we were supposed to have the full game with cards and everything so we could play right away, but... The box, unfortunately, did not survive the trip. And right. So a lot of the cards got lost, so we would and have to print lot, them. I mean, like, all the cards. So we're going to have to print them, we're going to have to cut everything out, Which, we're going to have to sleeve all of them. A little hard to do right now. Yeah, so it's been a lot of, like, extra stuff. Plus Animal Crossing, guys. I mean, hit me up on Animal <laughs> Crossing. I've got tulips and peaches are my natural fruit and flower. So yeah, for real, guys. You know what? We should uh, if if you want to know, like uh, where did I believe I posted my Nintendo Switch code, my friend's code, or something like that. You can Maybe always, I'll post it again. You can always message me on Derek Ryder on Facebook, and I'll give you my friend code. Yeah, for Switch. absolutely. Like if you're playing, you games can see how many there. hours I put into Animal Crossing and shame me. Hit us up and come to our island. Sometimes and... I just leave it up though, so other people can come to my island during the workday. I'm just saying it's up, <laughs> so other people can come by and visit while I'm doing other stuff and I'm not busy. I'm trying to think if there's anything else going on. Okay, so chocolatiers tomorrow. Then we're gonna then... play. Sunday is... Do you want to... Go ahead. Yeah. No, go Me? ahead. Sunday? So Sunday is going to be Funko Pop. We're going to play the Harry Potter version. So we're going to play Harry Potter Funko Funko Verse. And then on Monday, we're going to play Trial by Trolley, which we have the derailed yeah. edition. And the cool thing about that is you guys, everybody who's the audience gets to be the judge. We're going to figure out how to do the voting. But essentially, she's going to argue her side. I'm going to argue my side. And then you guys will get to vote. So hopefully I'll be looking really fancy that day and I'll get some pity votes. <laughs> Trial by trolley is the trial by trolley question where you are putting things down on a track and then you guys are going to get to decide whether or not we go down this track mm -hmm. and murderize all these people or we go down this track and There's murderize no right all those people. There's no right answer unless it's no. <laughs> my track. That's, that's wow, the way. Wow, that is not the right answer. <laughs> but it's a good, it's a game that it's definitely a more adult rated game. Um, yes. But it is a good ethical <laughs> This is a good ethical question, and the way we want to do it, since it's a social game, we want to try to plan it with you so that everybody else can participate with us, because otherwise we wouldn't be able to play that one for a while. And then if that goes well, we have some other games like that that we would like to play. Absolutely. But we struggle getting three to five people over all the time. But if we can right. play online with everybody, then we would definitely That'd do that. That'd be fantastic. Like, like, I have... would love to show Pitch Storm. Yeah, Pitch one Storm I really like. is a good one. Have Which we been following Skybound one. Doug? Doug who? Doug his dog. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Doug, Doug has been doing fashion With shows. With the little fashion shows. Yeah. That's right. That's I, right. I that was killing Doug's me. I was shows. like, who's Doug? I was thinking for some reason like some reviewer or something. I thought we were still talking about board games. <laughs> Doug reviews board games. He likes them all. Oh my gosh. Doug should review board games, Ellen. Okay. <laughs> he like he gave him two sniffs. Two out of five sniffs. If our dogs reviewed board games, one of them would just um, probably pee on the box, and then the other one would just slobber on the box. Oh my gosh! So, okay. Why the games would not survive? Battle cry says, "Drift and get them both." Shouldn't be on the tracks anyway. You know what? One hundred percent, that oh. could be the case in trial by trolley. Battle no cry, joke. we're gonna need you there to help decide. No joke. Like some of those, I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Just hit, just get everybody. Just Nickelback get everybody. It's and gonna Hitler solve both sides. a lot of problems. Both okay, sides. it'll solve a lot of problems, right? Oh my gosh, thank you so much for joining us in chat today, guys. Please we order me Chipotle. I'm so hungry. Awesome time talking to you guys. I hope everybody stays safe and happy during the quarantine, okay? Go outside in your backyard for a little bit. Get a little bit of sun, a little bit of vitamin D, a little bit of B12, stuff like that. Take your vitamins and stuff, A little okay? bit of vodka, a little bit of tequila, a little that's... bit of Jessica. A little bit... <laughs> oh, that's, that's a song, right? And I think that's about it. Yeah, absolutely, Alan. Guys, thanks so much. We always appreciate hanging out with you guys. So we will see you guys tomorrow, all right? In a couple hours. Okay. Bye. Bye.